Okay, let me very quickly go over the rotation uh, with you guys. Here I am with the uh, Secret Health Coaching Group. I want to go ahead and show you the four-day rotation. What happens here is that if you're a uh, whatever whatever uh, type you are, whether you're a carb type, mix type, or protein type person, you're going to have on your program, you're going to have, uh, you're going to actually have four different meal plans. And then once you're done with them, uh, you set them up nicely. You could print out the weekly rotation plan here. It'll show you your meals, uh, meals day one, two, three, and four, wherever you want to set up your meal days. It doesn't matter. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then you repeat Friday, one of these days, or, you know, and then Saturday, Sunday. Uh, but it doesn't matter where you want to start your day one. That's why I don't have it written down as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You could start Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then start your rotation again. Okay. So this is the rotation part that just is just for an assistance. You'll have a rotations food tab here in the bottom of your, of your uh, spreadsheets. Okay. And day one, which could be a Monday, you can choose your protein. Okay. You can choose your carbohydrates. You could choose your miscellaneouses here. These items are all from the same family, okay? And if you wish to switch them around, you could switch them within the day, but keep the same foods within. So celery with, uh, with you know, with lamb, uh, coffee, you have honey, all that stuff. You can keep it together. Again, this is for assistance. You don't have to do this. It's just to assist you in rotating your foods, okay? Day two would be totally different. You can actually... Uh, Choose a different kind of protein. This time it could be duck, it could be goose, it could be chicken. Uh, you could do avocados, apples, and you come over here and do uh, the miscellaneous stuff, right? The basils there, the coconuts, uh, turmeric, all that good stuff, oregano. Uh, you could add these items as this is, again, within the same family uh, that goes together for the purposes of rotation, Okay. Day three of the rotation, you pick a different kind of protein. It could be kidney beans or lentils with uh, peach and asparagus. And over here on the miscellaneous side, it could be based, uh, Brazil nuts, correct? Those are really big and, and really good for you. So uh, you could have that day three as a rotation. Day four rotation in red, you have different kind of protein you could choose right let's just say and, and you know everyone's different i mean i personally wouldn't do shrimp and stuff but i would surely do salmon salmon and i'm gonna have salmon i'm gonna have some uh let's see i'm gonna throw some oranges in there with some cucumber uh some, probably some some uh squash uh or and then over here on the miscellaneous uh, side i'm gonna add some uh pecans okay walnuts i'm gonna add some walnuts actually Okay, so this is day four rotation. So this helps you out just to get to give you an idea. Keep these foods together. It's a great rotation. It helps your your metabolism speed up, break down food easier, give your intestines and your gut a break uh, by doing the uh, rotation. Okay, once that rotation is done, there you figure out. Meal plan here one, meal plan two, meal plan three, meal plan four. They all look different. And then you'll be, be able to see all of them together here in the weekly rotation plan. And this is for all of you guys, wherever, uh, I mean, you, whether you're protein type, again, whether you're protein type, car type, or whether you are uh, mixed type, okay? Keep in mind that on the food list, you're going to see an idea of fall foods, winter foods that are coming up spring foods and summer foods not everything's in there there's protos and fruits missing in here but it's about fruit protos and fruits okay uh, foods of the earth whole foods that we're talking about refined foods you're not gonna there's no season for those right those suckers could could uh probably overcome a nuclear uh nuclear war and still be on the, on the shelves but whole foods okay you're gonna find them all here you're gonna find every kind of food you could think of even the bad food so just because it's on the list doesn't mean it's good food i'm just adding stuff i've been adding stuff for a while and there's probably things 
that are not here that you know of, but you could simply add them here by just clicking here on one of the tabs and clicking insert. It opens up an extra space for you here. Look at the package if it's a refined food. Uh, at the you know cups or whatever it is slices and most likely two serve one serving is going to be 30 grams so most likely half a serving of whatever you're buying is 15 grams of carbs correct remember that okay so uh and again you have that memorized again on this sheet here the three action rules remember this the glucose we're trying to maintain those three and a half to four hours of glucose this is this is the game changer here where you maintain your energy levels up okay Rule number one, eating three to four hours. Rule number two, every time you eat a carbohydrate, make sure you're eating it with a high quality protein and fat or both or together. Uh, all the macronutrients together will last, will make that glucose curve longer. Also, rule number three, memorizing your exchanges, all right? One exchange of carbs is 15 grams. One exchange of proteins is seven grams. One exchange of fats is five grams. And then the bonus down here, remember I keep saying it, when choosing carbs, avoid anything where the sugar is greater than 20% of total carbohydrates, okay? So avoid fruit juices. Those usually go over that rule right there. Eat the fruits instead. Masticating is way better. You keep the fiber, right? Right? That expands your glucose. The fiber helps you expand that glucose curve as you see on the graph up here. Keep that in mind, guys, all right? So that's what I'm talking about with the rotation foods here. That goes for all of you guys. Again, if you're a carb type, you're gonna see this extra sheet I, I included here. It's another thing to help you. As a carb type, we recommend a food chart, really easy to read. Whatever is in red, it means it's high glycemic foods, which means higher sugars. You're gonna raise that, that glucose curve probably past the 120, right? It's probably gonna shoot up to 150, 180. And those are the dangerous ones because you could crash with those very quick, okay? Very quick, quick. So if you're having pumpkins alone, you're having bananas alone, stuff like that, they're gonna make you crash fast. And it's different with protein people. So if you're a protein type, make sure you look at the chart. The ones in red are high starchy, high glycemic foods, okay? So if you're looking at brown rice, you love brown rice, you're gonna crash. You're gonna crash very fast. Bananas, you're gonna crash very fast, right? So note in red, high starchy foods or in the glycemics index. You can find the glycemic index anywhere on Google. You can Google uh, glycemic index and it'll give you a chart. You know, it's very easy to look at. You'll see all the, the foods that are high starchy, high glycemic foods, okay? So that means uh, we'll convert, to, you know, you'll, they'll convert that banana to, to sugar quick. It'll rush through your bloodstream, making that glucose curve shoot up in the sky and come crashing down immediately. So stay alert with that stuff and you should be able to sustain your energy levels throughout the day. Okay. So I wanted to show you that uh, and that's for everybody here. So I will go into the protein and the mixed type people next on my next video. Thank you very much.